Now people are talking about the resources of the continent, 60% of this endowment, 20% of this endowment. I mean, why can't you mobilize your own resources rather than extend your hands for handouts and charity? Is there a way of mobilizing these resources in the continent? How do you mobilize these resources? Can you mobilize the resources of Niger that are going to Europe, uranium, and what have you? What about the mineral resources of this continent? Are you mobilizing these resources for the development of the continent, for climate change? Where are these resources? Everybody is talking about their achievements in their own locality, in their own national borders, without even addressing the real issues challenging this continent. Talk about the continent's challenge and try to find solutions for, for, for this challenge, okay? We're talking about <laughs> climate change. We're talking about resources. You are talking about so many things. Don't divert focus on non-issues, okay? Now, do your homework. Come up with a definition of your goals and objectives. Strategize. Go for detailed plans. And then come to mobilize resources so that you implement your programs. Otherwise, I don't want to waste your time and waste my time talking about our achievements in Eritrea. <laughs> Try to talk about some of the issues mentioned on, on this summit. These billions coming to this continent from anywhere, Europe, Americas, or any other place, you are inviting inter uh, intervention in your own affairs. And this money coming from there, by billions and billions, will be siphoned back there. Make sure that you mobilize your own resources so that you can be enabled to benefit from resources coming from outside. The promises of billions are not good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, it's the, fo the focus that we need to talk about. You're talking about corrupt governments and comparing them with the private sector and promoting the private sector, the private sector, the private sector. You put in place accountable governments, non-corrupt government that will use national resources for the development of, of, of the majority. This is not a matter of polarizing the private sector and the public sector. This classical arguments about the private sector, the, 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 the public sector, that makes sense at all. It's out of context. We need to be focused on this matter. We can't blame governments and bring non-governmental organizations to manage our affairs. <laughs> that is phenomenal. In Africa, go everywhere. Non-governmental government, non-governmental organizations are managing governments and discrediting governments and replacing them with what they call private sector. Can you imagine this makes sense to anyone? 